It's okay. It's not over here. <laughs> Foxy works night, so it's his daytime now. Man, it brings you back to the nine days. It's me sad that this try is almost my sanest game. It's me, look. Let me recap. They're exploring into the Undermountain. They came across a fresh golem production and put a stop to that right away. Upon traveling deeper and deeper, they found uh, another one of the Revenant's former companions, which was already engaged in combat, which they then destroyed. Plus all the other creatures that were in here, which appeared to be both uh, insectoid and demonic. And then now we continue as they rest. Mm hmm. Resting like hell. Extreme resting! The only kind of resting. Extreme. Let's see. That's that's awesome. awesome. So, uh, during so your... Good. So, during your guys' rest... You see that there are three creatures that seem to just float in. Almost like looking over the room. They appear to be small beholders. Aha! Finally found everybody. Not, not these guys again. To those in... Uh, not to the players, these ones are called spectators. Spectators are lesser beholders summoned from another plane of existence by a ritual. They don't have the same strength as a beholder, and usually they are tasked to, of a duty of some kind. Once they perform that because said like yeah. once they perform that said service, they are then free. Which, you know, freed beholders are always a bad idea. Yes, and they like to watch, apparently, because that's why they're called spectators. Voyeurs. Yes. So, <laughs> do you, you see them, like, look at one another, but they don't verbally communicating. Perhaps telepathically they are. They see the corpse of Rex the Hammer and the corpses of the other creatures. They search around the room, but due to your guys' little tent, they are unable to see uh, where the where you guys currently are, even though they do sense people are in the room. So they are on alert. Without a sound, the, uh, they head back out of the room. You know you're in here. We'll get you. Dad, Dad in the corner, just peeking around. Peeking around town. Alright, so eight hours passes. You guys get your spells back, abilities, all that good stuff. I feel abilitous. Umbilicus? We should be on alert for those... <laughs> Voyeurs. I feel violated. I'm 
the yes. radar can see far enough to be an effective scout. Baragon and Varsi are the most effective scouts because they can see in the dark and Varsi can see very far. Yes. 300 feet. Yes, yes, yes. What All right. do your elven eyes see? I still take a look. A star, a star. Oh, wait. I That's what the magi saw. <laughs> like there are no magi stars in here. Just dank dungeons. Nope, so far nothing. <laughs> he just slowly peeked around the corner. Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to peek around the corner with this thing is not the easiest thing in the world. Nope, no corner leaning in this game. Uh, yep, okay, another clear room. Clear corridor. See all the way down. Nothing so far. Oh, that's right. We were following that one uh, that one person up into this place. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. Okay, I don't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, are you making people up? No, wasn't there like a guy that came down and we we saw him and we decided to follow him and no, never mind. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, we are clear all the way to that door, all the way down there. Yes, there's actually a door down here. Yes, yes, and I can see that far. <laughs> And nothing there. Master, give me a second. Uh, nope, nothing down there. So, moving into this area here, you see that the inside of each of these rooms appear to be rusted water pumps, basins, and even stone toilets. Marcy, on uh, down the hall, you see a creature. Oh, now I see. It. To be, appears to be an, a spiky creature with one large eye. You fought these already before. Yes, and I fought them in another game too. Nasty. Yep, they are. They haven't appeared to have noticed you yet. Okay, there's something right there. <laughs> Big guy. Give you headache. Oh, I see more of them. Do you have a plan? Should we lure them out here? Should we drop? Should we drop? If we lure them into this little tiny hall, we could uh, take advantage of that. Not much movement. So could they remember that. Well, technically, our best bet then is to do two and two. Two of us go on top, two of us go on bottom, and attract them, and we get them in, in between us. Sounds good to me. Okay, I'm going this way since I'm closer. Who wants to lure them? I guess I will. Send, send that eye in. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, <laughs> Throw your ball at him. It's an invincible eye. Sit him in. <laughs> what? Can't be killed? Just <laughs> track them and let them follow it. Like a little dog. It's, it's got 60 AC, 900 HP, and 700 temporary hit points. So all sure. it needs is one bolty. Yes. All right, I'm ready. Yep, and it's up in the corner. It's here. I can see it still. I think I'm going to shoot this one. 
<laughs> oh, it's right here. Alrighty. It's in the corner, trying to hide. My vision is too good. Barry got pulls out his gun and misses badly. He just shoots Ding. it up in the air. Well, he got its attention, maybe. <laughs> he did the he did the Jack Burton entrance where he shoots it up in rocks rocks <laughs> falling. Well, at least I know my initiatives are going to be crap. Oh, oh come on, I was... Yay! Mine is... even worse! <laughs> at least, uh, well, it's an ambush, so we want them to come to us anyway, right? Yeah. It's like this whole dice rolling day every week so far. I've been rolling crappy. It gets better as the game goes on. Stay away from the crap tables. And the poker tables and the backgammon and everything else that seems like. Alright, the weapon is gonna hold his turn and wait until someone becomes in range. How fast can these things move? Okay. Alright, so one of them comes around the corner in front of Baragon, uses his giant eye to stare directly at him, and Baragon must roll a constitution save. And it does not affect him. Aim for the big eye. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Alright, this one does the same thing to Fex. Because Fex is in line of sight. And Fex is unaffected. Can I see anyone else? Nope. Wall there. Wall there. Okay. Alright, now Baragon's up. And there's a whole crowd of them right there. Let's see, how many creatures can that affect? Do we know? Uh, check. I think you should have to roleplay the daunting roar. <laughs> Roar. Actually, it's pretty much anything within 10 feet. Creatures of your choice within 10 feet that can hear you. Alrighty. So, you two guys then. Rolling. Wisdom. And one is affected. Okay, I'm gonna. It's, it's... Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot this guy here. Do it. I put. I put my gun in front of his face and say, "Catch!" Ah, that'll do it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, Bex, you're up. <laughs> you never know what you want to do. You can throw stuff at them. You can throw stuff. All right.
distance stab. And he distance stabs. He's up. Yes. And I have the perfect idea for these kind of guys. Fireball. No. Nope. That's the answer to everything. Not this time. Wait, what happened? <laughs> okay, now we try this again. Yes. There we go. There we go. Darkness. <laughs> you cannot. B yes, big guys need darkness. Put that little cube on them. There's a cube. Yeah. So they don't keep trying to do whatever to, to these wrestling people. And now nobody else can see him either. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's part of it. They don't have range attack now, at least. You'll need it with an area effect. I figure you guys will throw enough at him to hit him. Alright, Marster. You see this big old wall of darkness there now. Waste a little fireball on a little sheep over there. Yeah. All right, so this gives me a 15 foot radius. There you go. All right, when they're within it, they have to make a wisdom save or take 3d8 ra uh, radiant damage. Okay, uh, looks like he caught one of a minute. Uh, he doesn't take any damage. Well, I haven't done. I'm not moving yet. Yeah, he, but you're, you're, he's within range of your radius. And now another one is. And now one more. One more. Oh, it affected one of them. And that's the end. Alright, so roll a 3d8. A 38. Blah. Crap. Around two. I'll move him right there. All right, bear gun. Uh, one moves towards you. You can feel it bump up against you as it's scrambling in the dark. Oh dear. Can I attack? Uh, nope. Darn it. Uh, it tried to attack you twice and didn't hit either time. This one's feared, so he's gonna go that way. Mars, do you feel the same thing? One of them is right up against you. But can't hit you. You, it's touching me! And that's it for them. They can't do anything. They're gone. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is the point. There's one in front of you. you think. <sighs> well, I might as well use a pistol since I since I'm armed. Okay. You didn't have to. Oh, who feared that? That wasn't for mine, right? Nope, that was Baragon. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. All right, so Baragon now roll a one d one hundred. Uh, below 50 is a miss. And you miss badly. Alright, All right, I'm gonna switch to my axe. Um, Alright. Now we're moving on to fix. Dark stab. Dark blade. Oh. That would be dark, man. Let's see if that hits. No, it does not. 
All right, Marcy, you're up now. All right. Back to total and true. Nope. <laughs> nope. That was almost a one. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, oh, God. All right, Marcy, we're going to see if you dish out some damage. Three wisdom checks. They all hit. There you go. And they'll all take 11. So if I walk out 15 feet and come back, do they take the damage again? I don't know if it works that way. I'm asking right now. What does your uh, spell say? Let's see. So when they enter it for the first time or when they start a turn there, they take 3d8. Okay, so they have to start a turn or enter the first time. They've already entered the first time. That's how I see it as that. And then um, on your turn, those who are still left in it, I'm having you roll damage instead of the start of their turn. Because I forgot to do it. So this time we'll do it right. right. The spirit guardians are buzzing. <laughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Who are you sanctuarying? I am casting that on myself. Okie dokie, here you go, have a shield. That's the end of my terrain. Uh, the Revenant can't do much of anything. Uh, That's this right, one. give him a challenge. This one Go starts. Alright, do three more, 3d8. Much better. It's getting stronger. Uh, one of them is going to attempt to critical hit Baragon. Come on, less than, less than 50. Nope. Of course. Baragon will take 10 damage as one of the claws comes through. I rolled a 9 and a 1 on his crit damage. Second attack misses. Uh, this one is no longer fear. <laughs> We'll come back there. Let's see. This one will try to save against blades. Does not. More 3d8 damage. Damn. And let's see. Last one. More 3d8 damage. Damn! It's getting better! <laughs> He's gonna get the hell out of there. Bear gone, there's still one in front of you. Alright. Uh, now that my axe is uh, out, I am gonna give it a good whack. A good one? A fairly good one. Yeah, yeah. Fairly good one. And that one is destroyed. And now I'm going to go hit this one. Oh, wait. We needed to roll 1d100. Derp. Oh, that's right. 50, you killed it. No! Okay, I hit him again. Okay. All right, we're going to do it again. Another d100. <laughs> the same exact same damage. Thing. Let's see if he's... There we go. Yeah, there you go. Now you did what you wanted. It only cost you an extra attack. Alright, Fix. I stab at thee! Oh! I saw that coming, actually. Oh, God. Here we go. You know, you're not stand? in darkness. You're not supposed to roll that low. 
I don't think this take a levy damage. He now has disadvantage on his next attack. This should hit you in the face. <laughs> Imagine how embarrassing that would have been. Thank goodness the beholders didn't see. <laughs> Maybe they have. All right, Varsi. Now it's time for you to roll a one. Ricochet. He slashes it backward. <laughs> it hits you in the face. That's enough to hit if you hit. Okay, let's see. One hundred. Mm, mm. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, buzz right as you killed it. I mean, another dead one. Yes, yeah, see, my darkness works. All right, Marster. You think there's one in there? I'll stand by. All right, the Revenant, being inspired, is just going to run right through. Oh, I'm going to need to move a little bit. Further. There we go. All right, he's going to kill that one. All right, that one's done. Right, there's still one left inside the the blades. He doesn't dodge it. More damage. We can get max damage now. Ah. 19 is still good. I'll take it. Actually, more like he'll take it. Yeah, take it, bitch. He's gonna get the hell out of there. I beam on the Revenant. It ain't gonna work, though. Nope. Mm -hmm. Alright, and now we're up to Paragon. Mm -hmm. Alice, Alice, Alice. Alice says he's, it. he's over he's here. here. Yeah, I guess I'll run up to him. Make sure you're Make sure. on the other side of darkness because you can't see here. Ah! Thank you very much. There you go. Yep, that will hit. Oh, wait, I have to roll uh, 1d100, right? Nope, you're out of no. darkness. Oh, okay. And I'll do it again. Do it again. Yep. And dead. That was easy. Yep. Release the darkness. The only damage <laughs> taken was Vex hitting himself. <laughs> Friendly fire is the most accurate fire. Uh, darkness be gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good job. This has its purposes. Creatures with big eyes cannot see in darkness. Gotcha. So, in this room, you see that low-lying stone shelves along the walls are stuffed with crumbling pairs of dwarven boots. Rusty dormant helmets and dusty goggle, goggles, tattered lead straps hang on pegs above them. I wonder if the goggler is here. The what and what? The goggler, it's a video game reference. Okay. Check the door. Checking the door, you see that there are several runic symbols drawn on the door. Yeah. 
You don't smell anything on the other side. Are these runes a trap? Uh, who has arcane? Or I'm arcana? Or Baragon. Ah. Baragon. What do you think? Let me see. Arcane knowledge, Baragon. This is an arcane lock. I have no idea what it is. Do I know, uh, do I have a clue as to how to open it? The runes themselves don't give away any kind of clue to open it. Might be able to break it down. Yeah, I'll try, uh, hitting it with the axe. Okay. Uh, you'll need to use, uh, athletics or st your strength. Your strength. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll use strength. Whichever's better. You know, I could have, I could have looked for traps. <laughs> no, you're not strong enough to break this door. Door open. Would you bind? Help me. All right. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to investigate. I shall. Investigate. Where are my? Not nope. very good, apparently. Nope, you're not able to deduce anything from this door. God, I want to load. Alright. Um, is it locked? <laughs> there does not appear to be a lock on the door, just the arcane one. Your phone won't help you now. <laughs> Someone's trying to talk to me and whisper me ideas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, do this, do that, do this, do that. Hmm. How do you remove arcane locks? They are magical in nature. Yeah. If I had the spell, maybe it would work, but I don't have the spell. Does anybody have a dispel? I do. Okay, good. Someone help. Voila. All right, so you must make a... Do to do at... Each spell of fourth level or higher on the target must make an ability check using your spell casting ability. So yours would be wisdom. It is DC plus the spell effect. That's yeah, affecting the door. Fifteen it says. Sorry guys. No, nope, it is not enough to dispel it. Wah, wah, wah. Confounding. Maybe there's a way around. Unfortunately, this is beyond my capabilities. Even my mighty elephant magic cannot stop that door. Well, there is the old-fashioned. Firebolt it! Where's... <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, your firebolt's not strong enough to break this door. What is the door made of? It's made of the same, like, iron wood material, but something about the arcane lock is preventing it from being broken down with with magic and base attack. Base attack. Uh, like, when you tried to force the door... It did give, like, just a little, but you weren't strong enough to fully force the door down. No, Marsha's not strong enough either. Sorry, my mighty elephant strength does not help us here. What about combined? Both of us. Together! 
Ooh, the Revenant has a lot of strength. Bring your crowbar. I guess Marster and I both try to push the door down, I guess. How about you and the Zambi? Yeah, I'll help. See? There you go. Man's hand. Help. <laughs> Advantage <laughs> it's on, uh, on, uh, uh, strength to open uh -oh. up a door. It actually helped. Hold on. Do some math. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I'm weak. Man's hand. Yeah. I just deleted Marster on accident. Oops. <laughs> or you see a barrel and say delete. <laughs> There he is. Let me help. I have to find this guy's athletics. Do 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 do. Actually, yeah, I just made it. Uh, the DC, by the way, was twenty-five. So, with the revenant and everybody else's help, you guys managed to force the door uh, to fall over. There you go. Bridge strand. Works all the time. Oh, wait. More doors. Everyone loves doors. Seems to be a hallway of connecting doors. And there's stairs to the south. So the stairs to the south lead up to a, uh, a wall. But uh, based on the gears and mechanics of this wall, it appears to be a secret door. They didn't hide it very well. Well, you're on the other side of the secret door. Ooh. So, is so it you're right. There was, is it yeah, there, there was a way around. There was a way around. Uh, not anymore. Now it's just a mechanical door. Aha! Uh -huh. Now what do you do? Steve, any ideas? You should probably start in these doors. Doors. Oh, uh, let's see. I guess I investigate the door for any kind of... Is, is there, like, any kind of, um, like, sliver of opening that I can probably, you know, slip my fingers in and, like, pull out? Uh, you can try to stealth crack the door open. <laughs> pull it uh, out. Pull. Stealth, 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 stealth. Well, you push well, on you the push. door, and the door makes a loud creak sound. And you just like, Erp, stop. Well, in that case, just uh, push the door open as fast as I can. Minimize the sound. Minimize the sound with my foot. Oh, hi! <laughs> ah, you caught someone in the shower. How nice. So, Baragon, opening the door, you see in front of you what appears to be a drow. Uh, clothed in dark robes with purple hair. The robes themselves, it looks based on the your appearance, they appear to be a mage of some kind. Behind him appears to be <laughs> behind him, a little demon. You guess it would be his familiar. Kill it! Don't care! Kill it! Take its magical items! <laughs> Who are you? Just a second. Ah. Going through a huge list drow? of names. Well, we know this ain't a tar because he's a drow, not a dwarf. A dwarf, a dwarf.
So the the man uh, gives you a curt bow. He goes, good evening. My name is Rizriel. We are looking for a dwarf. Uh, I believe most of the dwarves have passed away a long time ago, as you could tell from the room you came from. Yes, this one wasn't uh, historically a native of this place. Do you mind if I sit? Please. He returns to his chair and just comfortably sits on it. So what brings you to my little uh, chamber? As I told you, we are seeking a dwarf. Hmm. Do you know the name of this said dwarf? I look back at the revenant. Ah, uh, the dwarf companion who I was looking for is already dead. If that's who you are implying. Well, you said there was one left, right? Ah, uh, two humans and a dwarf. Yes. We are missing one human. Oh, so we're not looking for a dwarf. We're looking for a human. <laughs> I said, I said human. Okay. Okay. He goes, okay, I think you meant human, but okay. Anyway, I, unfortunately, many humans come and go. Uh, I'm not in particular which one you're looking for. Uh, you all look alike. The Revenant says, have you seen a, a dwarf woman? She calls herself Midna. He scratches his chin. Well, unfortunately, I've not heard of any Midna coming in this way. And I have none of my underlings have also heard of one. Baragon, in the room south of you, see like several huddled humans, like covered in just like shag robes. And who are they? Uh, my underlings. Pay them no mind. Okay. Drow or evil. Now, since you came in here, I have a proposition for you. An evil Deep. proposition? Well, it depends on who you ask. Okay, okay. wow. No wonder I heard me. The uh, Zenithar Guild are encroaching a little too close to me. I prefer they didn't. So here's my proposition. I want I you to destroy... The window, like 20 cops below me. <laughs> I'll be interested. Good night, Sweep. <laughs> it's just like I don't know what they're doing outside. I'm like, okay, I'm going back to <laughs> the. The because uh, the proposition I have, I want you to go to each of the Zenithar Guild outposts and bring me the hell heads of their guild members. You want us to go kill you? In a manner of speaking, yes. I think that's exactly what you just asked us to do. Nah, I'm in the more literal sense, yes. Uh-huh, what do we get out of this? I will reward you. Nah, that's of too many good words. Of course I reward you, and it's not some measly monetary gain. I have something that uh, would quite interest adventurers like you. We're members of the city guard. We aren't simply adventurers. Ah, my mistake. Well, they are. Keep going. Keep speaking. Anyway, I have <laughs> an object that uh, is important. It can really uh, lead to, to treasures. But I won't hand this over unless you decide to work with me here. You, being city guard, you hate Xanathar Guild anyway. What's the harm? We probably would have killed them anyway. But who's to say you're not on our list also? Have you heard of my name before? No. And I am definitely not part of the Xanathar Guild wanting to kill them after all. So I doubt I'm on any list of yours. Your business in these catacombs. Research. You see the magical properties of the, of the maze itself. It shifts, it moves around as if someone is toying with those who enter. There also seems to be some opposing force to try to make it easier for people to come through. These two opposing forces are very powerful. I'm 
I know of one seems to be uh, a wizard of old but uh, information about him is spotty I'm guessing he alters his own history it's hard to say the other well she lives in the walls and that's as much as I know she may come speak to you or have already spoken to you before all these chambers yours in here this one in particular because I've managed to block out any kind of magic that moves my chamber around. That's not to say that when I leave this room, I'll be in a different place altogether. It seems his actions are at random. Sometimes just to torment others for no particular reason, I can tell. Well, you seem peaceful enough. I have no... No intentions to harm you if you do not have intentions to harm me. We're not here for you. No, well, that's uh, good to hear. However, yes, yes. Speak to us about this this reward again. Yes, yes, yes. That's at my ear. Speak of what again? Reward. Ah, it will make your exploration of the Undermountain easier. That's all I'll give you. Have you learned anything about how, how to manipulate these two forces? If we wanted to make this dungeon a little easier to, tra to traverse, are there any clues that you can give us? Unfortunately, their power is far beyond mine. Any attempt to stop any kind of temporal or spatial movement, I cannot stop. I see. He also likes to send his goons to those who attempt to oppose him magically. I'm sure you've seen some of them float around. Ah, uh, yes. The observers. The evil warriors. Ah, those are the beholders. I think those are part of the Xanathar guild. Oh no, I was speaking of the other observers. If you see this spectral eye kind of mo move around and just observe you, I believe that's attached to it. There may be a beholder somewhere on this floor sending out his little spectators. Yes, but, but I, I have not. I have not seen him particularly. I'd rather not. Also, if you do keep in mind of my uh, associates down below, if you see them, please do them no harm. Uh, they, I send them on specific errands. And I'd like the errands not to be interrupted, if you would. Is there anything that you can uh, give to us to prove to them that we are uh, working for you? In case they uh, attack us? Ah, I can, ch I can show you. Jennifer, come here. So the one called steps forward. Jennifer, if you would please show them... Uh, a way of uh, identifying you amongst others. So she removes the robe, and instead of a uh, human that you thought you would see, it's actually a were rat. Hello, nurse. Wow. Okay. That'd be all, Jennifer. Mm. And she puts the her rose robe back on, and then moves back into the previous room. Does our little cat man go crazy? <laughs> nah. He's, held, he's managed to resist those urges. I feel like I'm in a zoo. <laughs> you are? <laughs> like, what the hell? I know of two outposts, one to the northwest and the other to the southwest. All right, well, we will look for them. I appreciate it. We have uh, an engagement with this revenant to, you know, help him kill people. 
but totally not in an evil way. Ha, ah, I have noticed your revenant. And I know I should not anger him. He looks rather okay, formidable. He gets pissed off that way. His name is Alucard. Ha! I don't really know what his name is. Haleth is his name. I've just been referring to him as Revenant to make it easier. Yeah, that works for me. I thought Revenant was his name. Ah, there are several... There are two paths I know to reach the northeast outpost. One goes through the Goblin Marketplace. And the other is a long hallway starting from the south. Take a, Turn left and follow the hallway. Don't deviate uh, to the south. Although, I believe the other outpost is also through the same hallway down south. But that is also where I've seen the spectators come from. Be careful out there. Friendly drought. Okay. Familiar with anything in these adjoining rooms? Well, it wouldn't be the first time a drow would talk to us. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with the rooms, as my room keeps being moved around. So I'm uh, from where I'm at, I'm not sure where I am. And I do not want you to leave the room, because leaving the room means I could not return here if the... manager or... Blah, blah. Yeah, you got it, okay. Hmm. Don't interrupt me, fireball. My for the <laughs> delivery guy. I'd hate if to you need me, I'll be here. here. Yes. I the room is still here. So that does kind of put it aside here. A plot hole in this little quest for him. How's he going to reward us? What if we can never find our way back? Ah, uh, with the shifting rooms and all. Hopefully it won't. Well... I think maybe we need some assurances then. If we're running your errand. Yeah, we, we do what you say and then we can't find you. Yeah, then we never find our way back here. Ah, uh, the then what we can do... On the way back. I'll have one of my associates shadow you. Upon retrieval, upon destruction of both uh, outposts, the reward will be passed on from him. That works for me. Excellent. Alright, come on. Time to burn the outpost. Alright, Jonathan, shadow them, but do not interfere. I do not wish to lose you. I mean, the, the rat girl can come. It's good. Oh, no. She's got something more important to do. <laughs> oh, I understand. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> He likes to play mouse. I look at Baragon and say, you think, uh, you think this falls within our ethos? Mm. It's, it's all, it's all for good. Yeah. All right. I'll follow your lead. Huh? What? What do you want me to burn now? What? What? Okay. Burn something. Let's go. Burn, burn, burn. Fire, fire, fire. Come on, come on, come on. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> I will sniffity-do the door. The smell of dust and is heavy on the other side of this wall. Oh, this door. is gonna sneeze. Watch out. Achoo. Take a rag opening, uh, cover my mouth and, uh, push open the door. Baragon, in this room, you appear to be the remnants of some kind of throne. Most of this room has collapsed a long time ago. The rest of it's covered in dust. You see footprints on the crisscrossed on the cross the dusty floor. It appears this room had already been ransacked. Perhaps some of the drows. Or the goblins, whatever. And what's this? That is a throne. 
Plain, Plain stone, stone throne. Why don't you sit on it? And take it with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take Put a look at it. On it. We got a good wheelchair. There you go. Too bad this dungeon's not wheelchair accessible. <laughs> Baragon investigating the throne doesn't make nothing, nothing stands, stands out. out. I got nothing. Well, nothing here. Gotta go. All right, let's check this door. Oh. Fortunately, whatever was on this other side of this room has been collapsed. I wonder if these rooms are collapsing due to the movement, or if they were already collapsed and then were moved here. Based on looking at it, it's hard to tell. Maybe a mix of both. Or the structural integrity of the of the undermount itself is starting to wane. As you during the hallway to get there, the walls are immaculate, but once you reach up here, the walls are collapsing. Mm. You know what it makes me think of? Never known. You remember the end of Portal 2? True, true answer to that question. Yeah. Remember the end of Portal 2 when all the different modules are moving around, slamming into each other and collapsing? Did anybody play Portal 2? Do you know what you're talking about? Like I having have... a room into a room makes it all crumble and destroy itself. It's an astute observation. Maybe there was another room already here, and by shifting it, it collapsed into each other, just crumbling the whole structure. Mm. Uh, too much thinking. I'm down at the stairs. About too much thinking. Back to walking. Let's see if I can figure out how to open the secret door from this side. The lever. I pulled the lever. Not that <laughs> lever! Lever! Why do we even have that lever? So you pull the lever and the door swings outward. Marcia, you hear the sound of what appears to be clicking and clacking from just to your right. I hear big crickets. Baragon, do you see anything? Baragon sees what see. seems to be two orange bugs with giant like feather feelers on the front and a long tail in the back. I see some rather large insects. Yeah, I see some very large insects. I make a roll of butter. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Indeed. Insect lobster? Okay, let's do this. Bolty, are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm always ready. Burn, burn, burn. Let's go. <laughs> Let's turn them red. Fried lobster. Oh, and Marster, as soon as you reach within 20 feet of the creature, their antenna like perk up and they spin around. Uh, you can see that their antenna are pointing towards your armor and your weapon. Oh shit. Oh god. Rust, Rust monsters. Wait a minute, don't I wear armor? Oh god, I do wear armor. Never mind! I'm not even <laughs> They are, in fact, rust monsters. Everyone likes getting their armor and weapon destroyed, right? Oh! Of course, I roll oh, really oh, low initiative. You're a rapier. You're a rapier. I wonder why none of your initiatives went onto the turn order. That's weird. Here, I'll re-roll it. Yeah, no, mine's on there. Hmm. Good. Oh, I lost connection to roll 20. Just a moment. Ah, they left the game site. Trying to see if it reconnects. All right, got to refresh. Yay, roll twenty. Who 
Who downloads porn anymore? It's all we free. make our own. Yeah, that's also a 90s thing, downloading porn. <laughs> downloaded porn at 50 56k. Nah, I'm kidding. Yeah, now stream it. We used to have slideshows. <laughs> loaded porn at 56k. Now nah, I'm kidding. I got cable. Back then we didn't have video. We had animated gifs. Gifs? You mean gifs? Whiffs. Gifs. Gifs. Whatever I wear, I wear head, it like figures out how to slide my hair underneath it, and then it gets all tangled in my beard. It's it's rough, man. It's rough. All right, looks like Fex is going to start this off. Pulling out the club, blow my mind. <laughs> uh, you hit him in the funny bone. <laughs> uh, and here comes Varsi with his fire of rolling ones. Nope, that's not a one. Nope, that's not, and that should be a decent. And I'm not taking chances. Yeah. Take that! <laughs> he's oh, he's gonna push him. That's right. Keep back from me, you damn dudes! Damage my armor. Boop. All right, it took a step back. Nom 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 nom. Baragon's got armor. Nom nom nom. Oh no! So, uh, Baragon needs to make a dexterity save as the antenna are reaching out. Dexterity. Oh! You are, you are unable, unable. unable to dodge its touch, and your you're not armor, supposed to walk into it. <laughs> your armor takes corrosive damage, and you lose permanent negative one AC to your armor. Oh! And then, <laughs> did he just get it replaced last time? Yeah, we just replaced it. Brand new armor. <laughs> yep, and then it missed. It's always someone steps on your shoes when you buy a new pair. You know how, how it is. Mm -hmm. And you're up. All right. Well, the armor's uh, gone anyway, so I might as well hit him with my axe. Uh, you might want to think about using a non metal weapon. Oh, weapon. oh that's right. Uh, the Warhammer. <laughs> that's the uh, uh, <laughs> it was a warhammer made out of uh, wood or metal. I think we gave you a wooden warhammer. All right, I'm gonna use a wooden warhammer. Uh, Two-handed. Damn. Let us squish. Bug goes squish. All right, let's do it again. Nope, that still hits. And that's a dead rust monster. Squish. Alright, Marster. One remains. Sacred Flamma! Sacred Flamma! Sacred Flamma! Did he dodge? No. And the second rust monster is dead. Good, then I won't have to run away.
Mmm. Does it taste like popcorn? Mmm. Would that spell help? Maybe. I guess it does. Can I fix Baragon's armor? Technically, it's not a break. It's true. It's not a bro break, but mending. I thought that you could uh, a break or tear in an object you touch. Yeah, it's, but rust kind of dissolved. Yeah. It's not two pieces. That's what the whole point of mending is. It's like magic Scott's tape. Nope. You, it's so the key word is permanent, as in it cannot be repaired. Bummer. Crap. So his AC is now 16 instead of 17. There's nothing we can do. Let's move on. Were they guarding anything in here? Or just guarding the door? Let's we'll sniff at the door. Get to my part in the book. So the what appears to be what the rust monsters are after is that um, the there are some rusted helmets and some boots, and some of the bass reliefs on the wall have been eaten into. It also looks like. Uh, some of the wall has been dissolved where there are some torches along the uh, some torch sconces that they couldn't reach. Oh, quaint. Uh, we can grab some of the sconces in case we need them for later. Yep, you, you can tear uh, a piece of the torch uh, bracket off. The the torch. There are no torches actually in the sconces. Just the bracket that holds them. Holds. Oh. Um. You know I can cast light. Yeah. Yeah. You don't oh. need. Oh, you can see the dark bear gone. Open the door. Push open the door to a hallway filled with spider webs. Really? Can your mage hand push those things out of the way? Nope, but I can do this. Fireball. So you, all right, Fireball. so you set fire to the spider webs, Fireball. clearing Fireball. clearing a path Fireball. down the hallway. <laughs> like, Fireball, Fireball. Ooh, damn, good number two. Hopefully you hit bigger than that on the next roll. My luck, I'll get a one. <laughs> I see something in here. Well, it just disappeared. There it is. I accidentally moved something I wasn't supposed to. Uh, is that a shen or something? So, coming around the corner, you see what appears to be an iron chandelier has fallen on top of a giant spider. Good shot. I'm going to squish the spider. That's something like this guy Fibbles would have done. That seems strangely reminiscent. Ugh. Seems some clever person has been through here. Let's see, ooh, is it still squishy? Ooh, squish. Ooh, I... Spider Spider's death looks relatively recent. It's a fresh spider. Ooh. Tasty. And there's actually webs on the floor there. I can see them. Yep, the next room is more of the giant spider webs. <laughs> I guess uh, open the door here. Don't inhale spider webs. Webs. 
he just wants to envelop spiders. And there's something dead in there. Yep, inside the room there appears to be another uh, appears to be an old bedchamber of some car kind. You see that there is an armoire standing in the south wall. The spider in the center of this room is filled full of arrows and scorched by fire. Yep. My knows how to kill spiders. This is the second time we've found corridors filled with dead spiders in this maze. I'm There's not an complaining exterior. about dead ones. Anything else of importance is this room in ransacked. Uh, there is an armoire standing on the south wall. It is draped in cobwebs. Yep, probably empty. Why they would kill the spider and not check the room. So I'll open up the armoire. You open up the armoire and you see the skeletal remains of what appears to be a halfling. Hello. Uh, Hello. The skeleton is clad in a chain shirt and is wearing what appears to be a ring on one bony finger, as well as a pack uh, attached to its back. I will examine the ring in the pack. The pack is actually an explorer's pack. It has everything in it but uh, minus water and rations. I toss it back to Baragon. Inspect the ring. Uh... You can uh, assume by the explorer pack missing both water and food that this halfling may have starved to death trying to hide from the spiders. Checking the ring, the ring does ha seem to have a magical property to it. Mm. It obviously does not create food and water. <laughs> <laughs> Paragon, looking at the, uh, peeking over Marster's shoulder while he's looking at the ring, the ring uh, itself shows pictures of what appears to be like swirls in, uh, and almost looks like a picture of a fish. It dawns on you, this is a ring of swimming. Ah, this is a ring of swimming. Well, maybe that will come really in. really good down here. A ring of swimming allows its wearers a speed of 40 feet while swimming. Who can fight while well underwater? None of you. I just put it in my pocket and move on. No, no, no. I can't prepare for that anyway. Let's hope. Oh, wow, there's a Nope. So, keep it in mind that make him come in useful later. Rope ain't bad. Bedroll's good. Tinder box, just in case you want to burn some old cobwebs. I'm exploring to the north now. As you step into this room, you run face first into a giant spider web. As you're looking at it, when stepping through it, you see that the vibration of the spider web goes all the way down the hallway. Uh oh. In less than a minute, you, you see the vibration coming. Sorry. You see the vibration of the spider webs reacting, coming back down the hallway. Towards you. Okay. That probably would have been easy to step back in the hallway first. I went. I was already through that room when you said that to Baragon. I meant to say it to Marster. I meant. Okay. So I look back and say, "Expect spiders." I grab my axe.
Right on cue, several giant spiders are moving down the hall hallway at rapid speed. Hey, um, oh. um, flamey guy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Now you want me to do something after you're running here? <laughs> you're lucky I have such a pyro. Get out of there so I can fire already. Too late. Return. Start an initiative. It is never too late to start a fire. All right. Giant spider. Like a tick. Giant tick spider. Even worse. That does hey, that's not Lucas. It kinda of looks like the one from the hot from the Lord of the Rings. Sheba. Although not as dangerous as uh Shelob. Uh Shelob, whatever her name is. Shelob. Shelob. Yeah, apparently Shelob's mother is really dangerous. Schlub? Schlub. I actually just watched Talk a video about... that says that Shelob and Gandalf are basically the same thing. Wait, what? Yeah, they're basically the same kind of being. So oh. the Balrog. The Balrog, Gandalf, and Shelob are all kind of the same sort of being. They just turned into different things. Oh, wow. They, they, yeah, they're kind of different forms of the original godling creatures of Middle That's Earth. the reason why it took Gandalf so long to beat the Balrog, because they were exactly equal. And only because that Balrog was actually weaker because of its non feeding for so many centuries. And on to the spider fight. And on to the spider fight. Including the first one, it gets up to Paragon. Ooh, looky there. No. And it has a nice color coded, too. And it missed. Alright, Baragon, time to retaliate against Giant Spider. Alright. Baragon, smash! Turn him, Betty Gordon. That will hit. Baragon does a smash. Alright, one more time. One more time. Does more snap? Does more smash? Speaking of Daft Punk, they broke up. Don't tell me that. Second giant spider. It shoots a web out at uh, Monster. And Monster is now wrapped up in webbing. Get over here! <laughs> Marcy's up. Yep. And I know, you guys don't like this, but I do. Alright, so it destroys the spider. Unfortunately, in its travel path, it also sets fire to the webs that both Marster and Baragon are standing in. <laughs> oh dear. Fire. Luckily, I only rolled a one. Both of them will take one damage. What? If you didn't want to get in and get burned, you wouldn't be used in my range. Besides, it's called friendly fire for a reason. Does that mean the web is no longer on me? Uh, yeah. yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's it for those spiders. Alright. How it's gonna come up in there. All right, Master, you are up. There is just one corp, one spider corpse in front of you. 
shoot the jerk behind the spider corpse. The spider does not dodge it and takes all of it. Equal three points, Jake. Me. Last giant spider is going to just move forward. All right, Vex, going last. <laughs> uh, you do not have line of sight. <laughs> like what? Too bad somebody doesn't have a beam. Special beam cannon? Oh, something happened. <laughs> What, yep, yep. this one is ranged? Oh man, and I'm standing right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> what? It might ricochet back and him in the face again. Everybody has disengage, I think. Technically, yes. Too far away to disengage anyway, doesn't matter. That was weak. It's stuck in some web in somewhere now. <laughs> uh, that's a dead giant spider. Bear guy on your up. All right. Uh, can I climb up on the other spider? Sure. <laughs> it's just uh, difficult terrain. All right. I'll stand here and uh, give this guy a good whack. That's a mighty fine whack, because you killed that spider. Yes! Freaking mowing through these kids. Let's see, can I move up and uh, attack again, or...? How far did you move already? You already moved 25 feet. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I'll stay here then. Okay. That's a dead spider. Barcy's up. Ooh. All right, time to walk it, walk it, do, do, do. Okay, now. Oh wow, they're just lined up there. Hmm. Why have I do? Damn, I don't have lightning bolt. That would be just too perfect right now. Yep. <laughs> uh. No. All right. Well. One at a time then. Come on. I know. Ooh. That's what we call a miss. Ah, burn some webs. Burn, I'm a spider. I like to bite people. Like this. He does the bite, and this is horribly. Yeah, I was like, we don't see anything. I was like, what, what bite? Alright, now it's gonna move in and start punching. Psh, psh. Spider punch! Spider punch! Sp nah, it doesn't kill it. First, first punch missed. I thought these things are supposed to have spider senses. No, that's only for the special radioactive ones. And spider in the back shoots a web, misses everyone. All right, Master. I will cast Sanctuary on Baragon. Actually, instead, I'll just hit the thing behind him with Sacred Flame. 
There you go. Uh, he doesn't dodge it. Dodge in that little hallway. Last giant spider. Web shot hits Baragon. Baragon, you're webbed. Oh. All right, Pex, you're up. Old spy deer. Hope you're getting these back. <laughs> okay. And that's enough to kill that giant spider. So that means there's two dead giant spiders piled on top of each other right there. Yep. Baragon, <laughs> you are webbed. Is there anything I can do to try to escape? You can use your strength to try to burst free. At burst. Yep, so you broke free of the webbing. That took an action. Alright, uh... So you have movement and a bonus. Alright, I'm gonna move here. Well, in front. Oh, you might want to take a step back. That spider's still alive. And then uh, the get spider. the spider a good... Yes! Yeehaw! Here's your critical hit card. Let's see if you instantly decapitate. That was just a damage crit, wasn't it? Oh no! Double damage! And it's, and the target is blinded until the end of the next turn. Uh, see, 10 damage isn't enough to kill the spider. But it can't see anymore. I guess I mu must have uh, slashed at its eyes. Oh, I hated them. Spiders have a lot of eyes, so that's a hell of a flash. That is a hell of a I spider. guess I made it. Knocked it on its head so hard that he's just reeling. Dude, I'm a spider. Alright, Barcy. Okay. Wow, that was quick. Okay. Now, nah, these spiders this. are chumps. Yep, I know. Damn. I lost all my good rolls. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't see that attack come through. Did my roll 20 break again? There it is. Yep, you missed bad. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I just not lost connection. Not one bad, but... Lost connection to roll 20 bad. again. It took mine a little while for Barcy's to update too. Your, your connection to the server has been interrupted. Don't do anything, because it won't save. Alright, it's back. Let me go ahead and just murder the rest of the spider. Uh, nope, he didn't murder it. Still alive. Uh, the one in the back cannot shoot web and can't do much of anything. Marster. On bleh. Ah, this time you missed. Great miss. Great miss. All right, the giant blind spider takes a bite, a crime, and I rolled a natural twenty. Yep, oh, someone's getting poisoned. Here comes the chance to hit. He doesn't hit. Baragon is safe. Yep. 
The wall is now poisoned. Well, Aragon is also standing on two dead giant spiders. <laughs> Throw more axes. It is totally your turn. How many of those do you have? Okay. He's covered in axes. Yes. Don't and ask him where he hides the other ones. That's another dead spider. This guy in the back is stealing all your kills. Okay. Why? Look, you better show me up. All right. Gonna move up to this one. Nope. Too far. There you go. And get another one. Not quite enough to kill that spider. Let's see if Varshi can see if Varshi can. Oh god, yes. Come on, I can't be rolling that bad. <laughs> Don't say that. Yet to give us the critical bolt. Uh, at least he hit and killed the last Ooh. spider. I'll take that sizzle. I guess the adventurers who came through here didn't finish off this group. A bunch of dead spiders ripping off legs, eyes, and all kinds of stuff. Oh, I found it! Oh, wait, that's a leg. I'm still moving slowly to the north. It branches off to the west, or turns to the west. Marster, to your south, you see. Uh, let's see, hold on a second. You see a chamber full of spider eggs. Really? You see desiccated corpses of goblins and more of those one-eyed creatures. Uh, except for one of them that is wriggling violently. You see the sacred flame I've been casting everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's much takes to burn fireball, everything. Fireball, fireball, fireball. <laughs> So upon hitting the wriggling thing with the, the uh, your oh, and I got a critical. Flame. There's a critical. You pop. <laughs> he popped it open, releasing a swarm of spiders. Oh yeah, I'm not away. Yep, here comes spider swarm. Oh look, I got a critical too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's okay. Come on. You want more? Give me more. Come on, Firebolt. Keep going. Psst. Psst. Keep aiming for them. You went over here. You're around the corner. Can't tell one corner from another corner. For some reason, Varsi's initiative didn't come through. Did you roll your initiative? Again? It's a new ah. combat round. Ah, okay. Well, that's why. I didn't even roll it. There you go. All right. I'm going to put you right there. That's fine. Spider Swarm, I'm on my way! Oh, that's as far as I can go. Now it's your turn. Oh, 
Okay. Uh. I will. wonder if swarms are as difficult in this one as they are in the other ones. We'll take that! Burn for 8 points! Yep, it sure does burn. Hey, Baragon, you like swarms of spiders, right? You sure do! Yay! Go get him! All right. Oh, oh there goes the map. Let's see. That swarm is that this over here? Yep. All right. Here we go. Get in there. Get some raid. <laughs> Like, didn't they See, do that in the cartoon? Alright, I'm gonna like use they, two the also came up with a can of raid or something. You can water work on a swarm? Like a flood? Alright, Barry. As you uh, swing at them, and you, you only can squish a couple of them at a time, but there's just so many. No, you did hit twice. You killed three spiders. Great! Only 800 more to go. Basically. Alright, Fix, you're up. I'm just gonna go ahead and chill this one out. <laughs> spiders are gross. Ew, spiders. There's a lot of cursing going on. <laughs> he has to go explore his files. In the Files are spilling everywhere. Oh God! <laughs> oh, I'll take care of this in a second. Go out there and stab him with your rapier. Oh, you can't move that far. Siska bomb. All right, it's the spider's turn. Oh. Okay. Ah, bear gun! The spiders are crawling all over you! Ah! <laughs> Man. So the spiders uh, swarm all over you and start biting you all over the place. Hey, get off! Get off! Are you sure about that? Ah! Alright, so the bear gun will take seven damage. Uh, you'll take no damage because you got t a temporary hit points still. Alright, Marster. <laughs> he is covered in spiders. Okay, so I got a question. <laughs> if I cast Sanctuary on him, that, that means... <laughs> the the spiders swarm, will be protected. <laughs> will they have to take... Will the spider swarm have to make a wisdom save in order to attack him or find a different person to swarm. See, that's the, different, that's the hard part about swarm properties is that they don't actually attack. They just damage the space they occupy. So they don't make any actual physical attack on somebody. So that's hard. That's a, a hard choice. But I would think it would work. Alright, so I cast Sanctuary on it. Baragon shielded. And the spiders are still crawling on him now. No! <laughs> They're just not biting. It should mean they want to move on if they don't pass a wisdom save. But I'm not done yet. Okay. Now I get the hell out of the way. 
Honda. Nope, but one space too far. There we go. Alright, well, the Revit is going to come up and just start punching Baragon. Uh-oh, get them! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope he rolls a one. <laughs> uh, he, he didn't, he didn't. Alright, Baragon, he has managed to crush all the spiders and only bruised you, like, four times. Oh, thank you, I'm not going to lie. Oh, you know, gone? Yep. I was about to do something, too. You're going to catch Baragon on fire. Yes, but in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> like disco fever on fire? No, more like burning hands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Baragon, that would be the ultimate irony. <laughs> you do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Go right, burning hands. Go. Steve, that's a cone. There's three people in front of you. Oops. Oops. <laughs> All the time. He's like, yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you think I forgot that arrow when I first started? <laughs> Has it forgotten? <laughs> uh, it appears you guys have reached the end of this little hallway. It's just more... Spiders and corpses of goblins. Treasure left behind by the corpses. Ah, there is treasure. Searching through the corpses yields some money and a silver dagger. Tiptoe through the corpses. Through there you go. Okay. Have some money and a dagger. I look over at Varsi. Mm hmm. And uh, offer in the tagger. Oh, cool. A uh, silver dagger. Great. So if I get to fight a werewolf, I have a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your pay. Copper? Job, oh. Great. I'll, make, I'll melt it <laughs> down and make a giant penny like a Batman. Giant penny. All right, back the way we came. Take us to another door. I'm now heading towards that other hallway going north. All the way down and around. <laughs> I'm just moving the revenant so I don't forget him. I was like, I see. You can take me with you. That's because a couple of fights I've left him like five rooms back. Varsity teleport. Boy. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be now. Fix teleport. Eyeball port. It's the only way to travel. The door. The door has a, the the door door. cold. Has a was sniffing the door. You could feel the cold emanating off the door. I cold somehow. Okay. And when you're going over the door, you can feel the cold. It smells like freezer burnt hamburger. We got fire. Let's go. Open the door, Revenant. No, so. Yeah, he won't feel the cold. He's already dead. So as soon as you open the door, you feel the in, like intense cold just wash over you down the hallway. Inside this room, you see what appears to be a pedestal, uh, what appears to be holding a flat 5x5 five five rock in the center. And around you, you see uh, various different types of meat hanging in this room. Ah. Uh. Room right up your alley, Baragon. Indeed. Ooh. <laughs> a rock, you say? Look at all that. And look at the like The room holds a pedestal, what appears to be holding a 5x5 five five stone in the center. 
Ooh, let's take a look at that. Some sort of cold rock. You attempt to the stone. Num, 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 num. But the stone is magically sealed to the pedestal. Mm. This rock won't move. Confusing. If this if this maze is always in flux, who the hell have the time to build this refrigerator and then fill it with meat? Well, they did, and then they lost it, so they forgot about it, so it's still here. It was a Spiders um, built it. Well, also in the rooms previous, you saw uh, old, like, mining equipment. So maybe this was just their cold storage. Maybe this was built before it was taken over by the crazy, shifty person. Where's the goblet? As you're closest to the stone in the center, you see that the rune on the stone actually brightens up as you look at it. I like you. We're going to pull out another set of cards we haven't used in a while. Uh oh. This one. Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> we're going to draw a rune. I don't know if you actually can draw these or not. Steve? I oh, I don't see any. Uh, I, don't, I don't see the deck. All right, then I'll just deal it out. That's how you good it is. You're, you're drawing it. It's invisible. Steve. Deal. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Stop trying to do that. Anyway, what does the card say, Steve? Uh, it says Angris, Elder Rune of War. Bang effect. The target must succeed on a constitution saving throw or it gains vulnerability to all damage and a negative two penalty to death saving throws for 24 hours. And there's also a boon effect. When the target hits with an attack, the target can turn that hit into a critical hit after which this boon effect ends. So first, you must roll your constitution saving throw. Uh, do I let uh, Dismas steal the card? No, no. Uh, that's we weren't meant to do that. No, I was looking. That was, I was also trying to look at it. I think I might know how to do that. Hold on. called Angris, right? Yes. Oh, damn, buggery. All right, I'm just looking at what it is. All right, so target must receive a constitution saving throw. Go go with your constitution. It better be good. Oh, you mean me? Okay. Yes, this, this is the rune is attached to you now. my goodness so you, the bane effect does not affect you and you gain the boon instead or you keep the boon so you have a a bank he does, he does have, have a bank so oh okay i can only get one critical hit after the after which this disappears yes and good thing you save from the con because you would have gained vulnerability to all damage a negative two penalty to death for 24 hours <laughs> How nice. <laughs> so you're going to just hold on to that card as a bank. Just to let you know the rune is still is a, a, an effect on you. Okie doke. Right, so we're going to go all the way back to... Down here. Alright, if you all group up, I will teleport you there. Yep, thank you. Uh, how do I close this card menu? Oh, there, never mind. Okay, I got it. Figured it out. Or did it? Just a second. Uh, I'm gonna teleport everyone. Stop moving. There we go. It will beam me up. Now your eyeball is underneath one of them.
moving east. So this is the direction that uh, Rizriel said that this was how you get to those outposts, was to follow this hallway. Young guard. I'll sniff the air for filthy human scum. As you move down the hallway, those familiar Xanathar guild symbols are graffitied on the wall. Ah, we're getting close. can finally cleanse this area of these senator scum. They scum. They do need some purging. Fireworks. Fireballs the answer to everything. Yeah, pretty much. Whoa. And if not, I... if it's not, I Don't can change it. Stealth open a door? Nah, just blow it open. Roll 20 is acting slow. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I can't even scroll. Yeah, it's slow. Alright, Marster, as you come around to this little intersection here, you see that there is written in Goblin uh to it says uh, do, 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 pointing south it reads uh, dead eyes watch post uh, oh, how nice they put up a sign and say we are here I'll wait for my companions to catch up it's quite a long hallway old Revy McReverton is here It's the gang. Okay, the light seems to stop for me over here. Yeah, Foxy's having some problems moving the eyeball around. Ah, there we go. Yeah, Roll 20's having issues tonight. Now that we have everyone together... So, the one of the outposts is nearby, ones that uh, Rizriel asked you to take care of. I point down and say, this goblin sign says there is an outpost in this direction. Arms. And two legs and a head. Oh shit, the beholder. I see the beholder, I hold up my hand. Close one eye and then point at it to like let Baragon know what's around the corner. All right. Marshall, Marshall. What's different about this beholder is that uh, its like eyeball has gone blind as well as like the tendrils on it, and its skin seems to be rotting off of its body. Oh, oh a zombie right. beholder. Alright, I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it up to uh, uh, you guys to decide what to do, because I got nothing. We should destroy it. We should, but not. Uh, I have a feeling uh, taking it straight on would not be the wisest of uh, moves. Perhaps I can drop a silence ball around it. And that should stop uh, it from it being able to cast any spells on us since it's blind. It doesn't use verbal. It's blind. Blind. I can use the metal mind spell that I have. Uh, 
must you roll uh, religion? Cleric, I don't know shit about religion. Anybody else have it? Uh, let me give it a shot. Uh, where did Mar Marster go? Not Marster, Baragon. I don't see him. I'm right behind the corner. Oh, you're standing. There we go. You guys are standing in the same square. Any? Oh, okay. Baragon. So, Baragon, your knowledge of uh, the undead also reach out to undead creatures like a Beholder zombie. Beholder zombies still have access, still can use their eye rays. Although under diminished effect, they also do not have an anti magic field, as their main eye is where that comes from, and it is blind. But but the other eye rays are still active. You should still be careful. This uh, creature can still shoot out eye rays. Darkness spell might be handy here. You, you have to blind a specific eye stock. Can I hit multiple targets? Ah, that might work. You hey, just have rainbow. to be able to hit Hopefully that you have a better initiative. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a good idea. Well, right before he does it, I'm going to cast a spell. Okay. Pull out my axe as well. As soon as is the signal, I cast that spell. Hmm. Might actually have to use a real spell for this one. Color spray. Color spray. Hello, color spray. Uh, I don't even see your spell thing pop up. There it goes. Color spray. You need to roll a six d ten, and hopefully you hit it hits points. Oh and you my don't. God. Wow. So that was a big old failure as you become uninvisible directly in front of it. Hi! <laughs> Man, you should be ashamed of that roll. Oh, and he starts on a 14. I make an initiative. Ooh, I got a nice four. Me too. Yay! We're on a roll tonight. First round starts with Monster. In the cat. will move to here then I will cast bless oh. everyone especially the beholder except the beholder <laughs> oh. wouldn't bless hurt the beholder if he's undead no <laughs> I'll cast yeah. that second level so all of us have bless Every creature now has bless, so that adds a d4 to your attack rolls or saving throws. And you'll need them for those okay. saving throws. Oh, uh, yeah, that's you really That didn't work. Wait, one second. Uh, as my bonus action, I will uh, have healed six, uh, 2d6 on Baragon. Okay. Paragon likes healing. Yes, I do. 
Seven. Oh yes, completes my turn. Thank y'all. Ooh, I didn't real. I forgot that Baragon has a banked critical hit. You curtsy? How nice of you. You're polite. Up to three creatures must make a charisma saving throw. Alright, it's saving attack throws and saving throw. blah 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 blah. Target must add a d4 to it. And that has to be concentrated. It is the Beholder's turn. Time for randomness. Oh boy! So, it's, uh, uh, one of its eye rays starts uh, wiggling about and fires what appears to be some kind of dark misty ray at Baragon and Baragon must make a saving throw. Ah. Uh, what do I use? Constitution or? Uh, it is. Or dexterity. Wisdom. 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 And that minus two doesn't affect this because it's uh, not an attack. All right, you managed to save. Gonna move right on over here. Chomp. And misses. And that will do it for the beholder. Barcy is up. Yes. Thank you. Okay. I have my perfect plan. Let's start with this. Okay. I'm making a, I'm making a fake someone to make it. Maybe it's not smart enough to realize, but yes, I'm making another target for itself, right there, so it can distract attacks to it. And I hide behind the corner again. <laughs> you're gone. You're up. <laughs> I was like, yep, there you go. <laughs> That's my hit. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to this. Give it a good walk. Uh, oh, nice. Second attack will hit. Can I add a D4 to this one? The uh, the slashing. The uh, second attack already hit. Okay. You can add a d4 to the first one. Let's see, do I still have a move? or You can add can... a d4 to the first attack. Alright. Uh, well, actually, I, I won't do that. I'll, I'll save it. Okay. Marster. Marster. Heal Baragon 10. Baragon fully healed. Little sacred flambe. Everyone loves some sacred flambe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good sacred flambe. There. And it hit him. There. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's make sure you kick it out of the oven in time where it burns out. Vex, you were up. Hey, he saved. <laughs> Look. Ah! <laughs>
He doesn't believe in your vicious mockery. He is dead. I'm beyond some bad jokes. That's right. D4 to that save. Nope, that wasn't enough. He did one. He did a three. Oh, good try, though. I need to put that thing on and he's cursed. Anyway, what else you got? You keep retreating down the hallway? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. What eye stock is he going to use this time? Ooh, I like this one. And he's got three looks like three targets go for the illusion go for the illusion ah it's baragon ah. hey baragon trying <laughs> a bright green ray now shoots at you roll a uh, constitution saving saving throw, throw. Okay. nope oh no Uh, roll a d4, Baragon. Need a four at the very least. You need a four. No. No. Oh, can I use the inspiration or? Did you inspire? I don't think you did. No. Well, well I hope you like not doing anything for a long time, Baragon, because you are paralyzed. Uh. <laughs> minute which is 10 rounds oh should have used the pink crit that you had Farsi's up oh okay your damage dealer is kind of out of the fight oops I forgot freaking my revenant again he's your second damage dealer if he actually fights alright he'll go before you okay Go ahead. And you can get there. Punch, punch. All right, he hit twice. Dishing out 19. Now it's your turn. Okay. Sacred flames of my own. Burn it! Yep, that's a good hit. Pachoo! Pachoo! <laughs> Whoosh! Did Whoosh! Decent damage. Yay. And, uh. Back behind the corner. <laughs> hey, Baragon, you can't do anything. Monster! <laughs> Will dispel magic work on that? Let's see. Spell him back. It's a gaze. Any spell third or lower. It's not real. It's not a spell, though. Yeah, it's more like a natural effect, isn't it? It's a supernatural effect. It's supernatural. I'm trying to trying to look it up. No, if it's not a spell, it won't work. Yeah, it's not a spell. Then it won't work. At will, though. Also, bonus action cure 2d6 on Baragon. Oh, never mind. On Mars. Uh, not Mars. <laughs> on Fex. Yeah, he can get his 3 HP back. Fex, you're up.
Oh my goodness, that's gonna hurt. Yes, it will hurt. So, uh, here's something that happens. So, Fix, when you shatter him, you see his body fall to the floor. And he appears dead. But not but a second later, it rises back up. <laughs> Too bad Baragon, uh, Baragon was the only one that did knowledge on him but, to understand what's going on. But he can't talk. No, I didn't. I did the knowledge on it too. Go back. That's right. Barsi, uh, undead beholders have to be killed with fire or holy. Any other damage, it will res resurrect at one. Okay. You gotta burn it! <laughs> You're out. You gotta do mine then! Burn! It's beholder zombie turn. What random effect this time? Ooh, a four. So, uh, Halith is suddenly going to be picked up and thrown 30 feet this way into a wall. Oh, telekinetic. Wow. Yeah, but he's going to take 15 damage from it, too. And then he's going to try to bite to paralyze Baragon. And critically hits him. Baragon's going to take 30 damage. Oh my god. And that will do it for the Beholder. So Hal is going to stand up. Can he get back over there in time? Yes, he can. Uh, he could punch him to knock him down to 1 HP, but that's all he can do. So he can't really help here. Varsi. Okay. Ah, oh, all right. How does this thing look? Let me see. He's thrown. He's he's. Ugh, God's sake. All right. Let's do this again. Burn. And the zombie beholder burns. Yay! You were all worried about that bitch, too. Didn't even hurt anybody. Just froze Baragon. <laughs> I mean, damage. It's major attack. I needed to roll on a three on that d4 for it to do the biggest damage it has. I did not roll a three. This is great. Oh, that just in case you thought this guy was weak that if I rolled a three on that ray it does 36 damage each time oh my god wait is Baragon at half health now yes he is yes he is well, I can heal him up to full with this spell well he's not going anywhere for a while so yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I think I'm going to for a bit as long as his, his paralyzation so I'll just sit there and heal him while he's paralyzed <laughs> Get, put oh, my good. hand on his Stand butt. There. He put his hand I, on his butt. Drawing dicks on his butt. Yeah, I'm just going to lean against him and wait for him to come out of his. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Stand there. I didn't kill the full uh, Baragon. All right. Everybody should. We should have time to heal everyone. Yep, everyone should be yep, full. Everyone. Can we just assume that uh, time has passed and I can now move? <laughs> yep, you are no longer paralyzed. Uh, it was only a minute he was oh. paralyzed for. So are we calling it at 9.30 tonight? Was that yeah. our new deal? You're going to call it at 9 or? Yes. Finish. Seems like it would be a really good spot to stop to not get slogged in if we were going to stop early. Well, I'll describe... Yeah. I'll describe one more thing. Right here, you appear to see like a barricade of furniture, uh, doors, anything to try to block between it and the beholder. 
you can only assume that the outpost is behind here and they've been trying to uh, they've been stuck in here because of that thing good so that's our cliffhanger then we come investigate when we come back yeah yes the barricade stands before you and the outpost dead beholder on the ground beholder on that note we'll see you all next week good night night. night.